I, um, I what I'm going to talk about tonight is, uh, is Shindo. My experience of Shindo and, and how I perceive how uh, the Shindo meant to Sensei. And so for me, the Shindo started uh, in, in the mid '80s, and Sensei Shintani was uh, teaching the Kata, Kata Sushi no Kancho, the long bow. And uh, we worked it, you know, quite thoroughly and for quite some time. And I realized that Sensei used that long bow to uh, to develop. Uh, his students to develop us until he was able to, uh, or thought it was time to introduce us to the mission book. Um, and when he did introduce us to the mission we worked it a lot. We, we did work the mission a lot in the sense that in almost every class he would work the mission with us. And, um, I remember he says he would teach uh, a lot of the class and then he would have some of the senior belts uh, teach essentially Peter Chofi. Back when I was a young black belt in the early days, for me, uh, Sensei Peter did a lot of the instruction, a lot of the teaching. And uh, I remember one particular uh, class uh, Sensei was, uh, Peter was teaching. And of course, it's it's hard and fast, right? With, with Sensei Chofi, bringing the Shindo and bringing it back. And I he brought that Shindo back, and I cracked myself right in the forehead. The fact that I mean, I hit myself. And right away, Sensei Peter he counts again, and whack! I smoke myself right in the same spot, just as hard. And it sounded like a cannon went off in my head. So everything went quiet, and everybody's looking at me, and all I can hear is the wind in my ears. I'm sure to everybody else, it sounded like a coconut impact. But Sensei Peter walks up to me and says, Jim, are you okay? <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> Little did I know, I'm bleeding all over the place. So they got me a towel and put it on my head, and I went up onto the stage and sat beside Sensi Shintani. So I'm sitting beside Sensi, and I'm not really looking at him. I'm feeling really quite embarrassed. And, and Sensi had quite a he had quite a sense of humor, and uh, he just kind of giving me the sideways look. And so all of a sudden, he starts nodding his head and chuckling. <laughs> that really hurts, doesn't it, Jim? <laughs> yeah, it sure does, Sensi. But uh, I always remember that because since he made it light, you know, he made it easy on me, he made me realize, you know, it can happen to anybody, just learn from it. So I always remember that story. Uh, since he, you know, he, Shindo was his life, right? You know, he, he uh, and he wanted to build his, uh, and develop his shingle organization. And, and he had a lot of key guys, like Sensei Bob Graham was a key guy in this. And, but I really got to give a lot of recognition to Sensei Bruce Purpose. Um, since he put it out there, Sensei Bruce, he took, he, he really took the bull by the horns. And he, he, he went right at this and he communicated with Sensei Shintani. I was fortunate enough to be there from the start, following along. You know, as a faithful student, and uh, but Bruce, since Bruce is very loyal to Sensei, and uh, since he started to do the put the program together, and, and unfortunately, Sensei Shintani had a stroke, and um, at that time, he basically was incapacitated, but he never ever quit teaching. And uh, we go to the hospital, the rehabilitation hospital. Since he would be so thrilled that he come there, and he, he, he couldn't demonstrate that he, he would still be teaching us and telling us what he wanted incorporated into the cutters that we were doing and the, and the techniques. And, and we, we incorporated them, there, and they're still there today. And uh, since he never quit, he taught to the day he died. And uh, that's what he loved to do. So, since he, uh, he spoke about having a dream, and this dream was so vivid and so real uh, that it impacted his life and it, and it really took him in the direction that he went. Uh, and he dreamt that he had defeated two swordsmen with a short stick. And this is where he took that path with his life to develop Shindo. And Shindo became his life. 
he raised that Shindo up at class and he, he told us, he said, do not ever, ever abuse this. Do not ever, ever you know, disrespect it. Always respect it. But this is my life. And it was. You know, he, uh, he talked so, so much of Sensi Oatsman. And we love for him. And we talked to Sensi Kitagawa and Sensi uh, uh, Bob talked about tonight. And he taught us the Wado Kadas and the Wado Way in honor of Sensi Oatsman's legacy. Just as he taught us the Kitagawa and Sharon Rue Kadas in honor of the Kitagawa's legacy. But Shindo, was Sensi Shintani's. Sensi Shintani developed Shindo and gave it to us. And I truly believe that a big part of Sensi's legacy is Shindo. And um, I'm going to continue to do the, everything I can to uh, keep that legacy alive. Thank you for letting me talk. Thank you.